हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द एक्सट्रैक्ट लॉस्ट फॉरेस्ट रिटर्न बाय जोहान जेंसन एज वी हैव सीन दैट द स्लैब बोर्ड हिज हेड एंड वेंट इन टू हारनेस अगेन बिकॉज हिज ओनर कोरा appealed him to work for him for more 2 years so the slav was unable to speak anything before him he worked well but no longer did he keep track for the passing days as formerly so there was just uh, working and working and working not nothing more than that there was no passion for work also because he suppressed the slave to work for more two years on the contrary he gave way to daydreaming and kora heard him wail and babble in his sleep the slave was just crying in sleep and babble talk after a time he fell sick again if the mentality is not proper of the man any man definitely he will fell asleep the same is happened with that slab then kora sat down beside him and talked to him long and earnestly kora tried to communicate with him in a positive manner his speech was sounded prudent full of wisdom as if grounded in our honest experience kora said i am an old man in my youth i too longed for the west the great forest beckoned me in my young age i was fascinated to the west the forest called me but i never had money enough for the journey i shall never go there now never until my spirit goes there when i die i know that i will not be able to go there after my death my spirit perhaps will go there you are young and able and you work hard but are you any stronger or abler than i was in my youth this is the question asked to that slave by kora kora says to him you are young and able you are much enough able to work hard but the question asked to slave by kora is are you any stronger or abler than i was in my youth the question made slave think and kora also says to him that think about all this and hear to the advice of an old man <clears throat> and see to it that you get well again so this is a formal and uh, sympathetic communication with that slav of the kora but the slav mended slowly and when he took hold again it was not with the old enthusiasm 
he gave way easily now his ambitions was gone and he liked to lie down and sleep between jobs he started to sleep between jobs during the work because there was no any ambition to go to forest he came to know that kora will never him let go to the west <coughs> so he started day dreaming and tried to avoid the work allotted to him allotted to him it did him good then one day kora whipped him you know whip started to beat him and that did him good and he wept the situation remains the same for more two years the two years slipped by the kora really gave the slave his freedom he went forth into the west after two years kora shown sympathy towards him that slave and he allowed him to go to the west to his native place but months later he came back in miserable plight after a month the slave once again came back in a miserable plight his physical and mental situation was very poor and uh, he was so unhappy he had not been able to find his forests he tried much but he had not been able to find his forests it might be that your forests lie in that direction do you see said kora didn't i warn you but no one shall say that i am not good to you try again and this time go eastward it might be that your forest lie in that direction said kora kora once again trying to say him that you should go once again to find your forest towards the east because you have already gone to the west but you did not able to find out your home there in the west so you should go to east now to find your home otherwise the people will say that kora was not good to his slave so kora gave one more chance to the slave to go to east once more the slave set forth this time with his face towards the rising sun and finally after long wanderings he came to his own forests he went to the east towards the rising sun finally after long wanderings he came to his for own forests but he knew them not though the place was his own the people were changed worn out and defeated seeing all this change and nobody's 
identifying him everything was changed there worn out and defeated he he turned his face to the west after seeing all this situation he immediately decided that he cannot stay there so he immediately turned to the west came back to his master and told him that thought he had found woods great woods and small they were not his own forests so once again he returned to kora and told him that he went he found some woods great woods and small woods but all these woods and forests were not his own forests kora kaft hmm and said stay with me while i am ali you you shall never lack for a home on this earth kora assured him that until he is ali there will not be living problem for that slave on this earth and when i have been gathered to my fathers my son will see that you are taken care of what is it and when i have been gathered to my fathers that means when i will be old person and unable to do anything my son will see that you are taken care of so i assure you that my son will look after you so the slave stayed there kora aged but the slave was still in his prime kora aged but his lab was still in his prime kora fed him well that he might live long kept him clean that he might be in good health and at reasonable intervals whipped him so that he should be meek and respectful nor did he stint with rest every sunday the slave was free to sit on top of knoll means that is hill and stare out into the west so each and everything kora did for him for that slave because he should live a uh, long so he fed well to him he kept him clean so that his health to be maintained sometimes he whipped him also because he should be meek and respectful so all these things kora did with that slab now the slave became as like the member of his family okay we will see the remaining part of the extract in my next video thank you